here we go. Come on. Okay, I'm Geodab and in this video what we're going to do is have a quick look at what's actually happened with the UDK November 2012 release. Now, when you first install this, you'll see you get a new initial screen. Now, I've took pictures of this so we don't have to wait for everything to install and all the rest of it. Okay, so what we have is you've got a choice of two projects setups. Yeah, now you've got your PS Game UT3 title. Now, uh, this might sound a little bit uh, confusing, but this will give you your complete UDK install with all the, the bits and the bobs that come with it. You know, all, all your UT3 demo content e.g. the vehicles, the characters and all the rest plus a load of other stuff that comes with it. Now everybody knows what's in there well anybody who's used UDK before. Now what I'm going to do is show you what you get when you install the PS game empty title. Yeah? Now if you are a not an advanced user, e.g. like me, this is not really the option you want to be going for as you'll see during this video. But I just want to do this to show you what is possible and what you get when you install this. Okay, so if you put your tick in the PS game empty title and click on next, well IE next, don't know why it's called that, okay this will just follow on and as you can see here you click on that and then you get this now I can't remember off the top of my head if you get this option with the UT, UT3 selection e.g. that one because it's been a while uh, obviously you got your installation location I always put mine on the E drive never on the C drive and when you if you when this screen first comes up it will say C UDK custom now all you gotta do is put in the name of your project here as I've put Davcorp and it will automate well it automatically updated there okay so and then you click on install yes you can see it's in German sorry here in the, on the next window you will get the options for the uh, perforce installations I am not going to deal with this as a pretty much one man band I don't really need perforce I'll leave that to the people that actually use it and know what they're doing with it because I don't and then of course at last at the end you get this okay so we're gonna start UDK as he says he's already done it now this is the normal screen well hang on let me get that up this is the normal screen screen that you will get when UDK starts giving you all these lovely options I'm gonna take the tick out of that because I don't really need to see that every time and I'm going to restored the viewport to my normal four items well four viewports now here is where you will see the difference okay you've got all the all your arch types and your bits and pieces there engine content that is still all there UDK game content maps first oh not a lot there okay so this is the very bare necessities of content that you will get and when when I said earlier at the start you make your own content if you rely in any way or form on any of the uh, the you the main content that comes with the UDK build whether it's 
well I don't know how much of foliage and things like that and all the other stuff you know in the in the demo kit then go for the full install this is a really really basic install for the people that know and are literally they're building their game from scratch yeah but what I will show you is in the uh, the Windows browser Explorer there you go remember remember the name when you install what it will automatically do is create in the source folder set DavCorp game hey ain't that nice and in classes you will get the DavCorp game info DavCorp pawn and DavCorp pawn con uh, player controller now obviously if you have named your game something else it's not going to call it DavCorp yeah it's going to call it your ne the name that you gave your project now also in here you you've got your UT get UDK game folder where with the content now as you can see you don't get a lot you get one map you get a few resources and that's it okay you should, looks like they've left in the uh, localization files and of course the movies you get your project templates which I think you've got an idea what's hap gonna happen here as you can see yeah that's a, pretty much the same as what we had in that DAVCOP folder okay now look, just going in checking things see what's there and all the other stuff uh, in fact just noticing now l let me just have a, a quick look here in the July's version because I don't, I don't want it in the source I've been playing with code and pulling my hair out yeah, flash now you got all your flash stuff there and you haven't got your flash stuff here so you really are going to be working from the ground up uh, let's just have a look in there click here yeah, that's a uh, that's a uh, so unless you really really know what you're doing let's go back into GIMP and we'll go back to the first picture unless you really really want to use a completely empty as it says here empty game game well base then if you're gonna do it go for it and you're going to be making everything now you might want to what you might want to do is actually start off building your stuff with the PS game UT3 title that's up to you yeah and then later maybe port move it all into a new build using the empty to make sure that you're not using any of the content that you shouldn't be using okay so I hope I've made that fairly clear he said and uh, what I'm now going to do I'm going to deinstall this one and <laughs> install this one because I, I need that stuff okay then we'll leave it at that and I hope this is sort of like give you an idea of what's happening there and I'll see you the next time